Ever so often you come across people and they just exude a natural leadership ability that you don't find every day. That's certainly who Hunter is. When you're in a situation in life where everything is going perfectly, you've just purchased a house, your wife's expecting your second child, you're promoted in the Navy JAG Corps Reserve units, and then suddenly you get that call from the Navy. We need you to drop everything that you're doing for a year to serve in Guantanamo Bay. What are you gonna do? If you're Hunter Abel, you answer the call of duty. That's patriotism. That's integrity. We all knew that it was a duty that he had to execute, and he did it with courage. I was sent down there to work with the detainee operation and working with a really top-notch quality team of individuals. And it was a joint team of Army, Marines, Coast Guard, Navy, and Air Force. For me, this award is, in a way, a recognition of their hard work. As far as an employer supporting a member of the Reserves or Guard going on deployment, I couldn't have asked for a better law firm than Williams Castor. I particularly appreciated the support from the Bar Association. I felt like I was still part of the Washington legal profession, even though I was you know, 4,000 miles away. He is just the type of person that you want to see succeed, because with Hunter, when he succeeds, he makes everyone around him successful. I have concerns when I see a genuine legal issue that needs to be addressed and the potential client just can't afford to get the relief that they're looking for. I have concerns that there's an increasing gulf between the legal profession and the public, and if we can try and bridge that, I think we'll be in better shape for it. Like anybody who goes on deployment experiences the fact that it is truly harder on those that you leave behind. In my case, it was leaving behind my wife, Sarah, my daughter, Libby, and our daughter that was born while I was on deployment, Winnie. Those three ladies were really the heroes of this deployment.